welcome back everybody i hope you enjoyed the last episode seemed to be a lot of people who liked seeing that i'm gonna put a coyote in this car next year you know i'm excited for it uh it's gonna be different it's gonna be a whole new learning curve and tuning wise weight shouldn't be a problem so really not much of the suspension should be changing but it's gonna be a tuning wise thing um and and stuff like that you know it is it's a big old honking motor we have to start getting off all the garbage like i said i'm not really going to touch this but i'm gonna we're gonna get all the garbage off of this thing that's not needed um anybody needs a 18 f-150 engine harness let me know i'm pretty sure it's uncut and nothing wrong with it i don't see a single broken uh wire or tab or anything so if you need it jump up in my dms and i'll let it go cheap my dms send me an email race status ind at, at yahoo.com <laughs> but no if you comment if you seriously need it let me know like any of this stuff like the factory intake manifold fuel rails injectors any of the di stuff there's no pump but if you need any of it i'll let it go next to nothing cheap you know instead of just throwing it in the garbage but we're going to attack that a little bit today. We're going to get the wiring off of it. We're going to get a pile of parts that aren't needed with it. I am learning about this platform the more I'm digging into it. The cooling system is definitely a little strange. Uh, upper hose, lower hose? It's kind of strange. Uh, that's going to have to go. So, like, stuff like that. Like, I'm learning about this oil filter and how F-150s and Mustangs tie out. Timing covers are different. And yada 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 and silly things like that but like a lot like a new timing cover is like 150 bucks like so like not a big deal but a bell housing 750 what why why is a bell housing 750 dollars when the one from my ls is like 400 dollars? whatever so we're gonna dig into that but for right now we're stripping out the coilovers the brakes the control arms Coilovers got to get sent out, new himes in the control arms, and we have to undercoat inside the fender well. Oh, we got to strip all that. I've already started assembling everything back in the engine bay. Water tank's done. I got to mount the pump. This is all bolted in. This bolted in. Air thing goes underneath. I got to do that yet. You know, I got the throttle cable in, sensors in, yada, yada, yada. But I'm, I'm actually starting to get back into starting to enjoy this car again because i've not wanted to even touch it for the past couple of months and now i'm kind of excited that i'm actually able to start putting parts back on and making progress i just had wrenches in my hand so let's get all the front suspension stripped out let's get the control arm stripped out of it which i think is a royal pita because of my wheelie skis yeah yeah Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change Oh, They say I should feel guilty and change my ways Leaving crumple bodies in my wakes Where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so much We're tearing apart this side now and why I'm doing this is because middle of last year, I started to get a well, started to get a noise out of this suspension, uh, and I want to show you. I narrowed it down, but I want to show you where it's coming from. I figured it was the control arm, and here it is. I ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> It literally just sits there. So this control arm is bad. Well, the control arm is fine. It needs himes. The himes are shot. I don't know if that noise is picking up on camera, but the ball joints are worn. Like, it is. It's, it's race car stuff. There's only so much you can maintain to keep these things fine. So we're gonna 
call up TMZ, get some new hymes. I gotta ask him about the ball joints and how that whole, I don't know if there's just a clip that holds them in or how they get pressed in. I don't know, I'll have to talk to them about it, but I need to get parts coming on the way so I can start getting the suspension back together. Oh, I gotta rip out this control arm, all this stuff, and then uh, we can start prepping in there. So, on to the next part. Thanks to the great people at Team Z, I got a brand new set of control arms, all new Himes. I forgot how good these look when they're brand new new ball joints. I cleaned all my hardware and such. I undercoated all in this side. Still gotta do the other side, but we're gonna get the suspension back together on this side for the most part. So I'm gonna assemble the control arms back in, both sides, get the steering rack back in, and I think I can hang the knuckles and stuff. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, we're here at Scotty's Violators Violators Cars and trucks will be stripped and sold on eBay. We're here to Drop the cylinder heads off and pick up the short block. Well the block and all the parts uh, All the machining's done. I just have to assemble it I didn't want to pay for assembly because it was already too much money for not too much it was a lot of money for all the machine work and I'm just pretty much plumb out of money right now so I'm like I can you know get all the clearances make sure everything's good get all the machine work done and I can I can torque stuff together oh new comb my buddy Ross gave me from a beard um I feel a weird presence. It's mainly because I'm I'm close to where Steve it lives, and I don't like it. I mean, it's like a bad aura around here because of that. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna pick up the motor. Uh, maybe we'll go see Dave today and see what he's been up to. Um, nothing on the green car. Dave's the one with the 2530 four link car. But he bought another stupid Mustang, and he's been working on that instead of the green car, instead of learning how to weld. Uh, his green car is on hold because he can't weld, and he's waiting for the guy, Billy, that was fabricating on it to be able to have time to fabricate it on more. And I'm like, neither here nor there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick that up. Bull BS with Scotty for a little bit, and uh, see if we go to Dave's or we just go home and start playing with the motor. We'll see. So we didn't pick up my motor. Scotty did not pick it up for me from RPE. Uh, I dropped my cylinder heads off. He's gonna bring those over this week. Those will get drilled and Saturday we will pick up uh, pick up the whole motor. I still need a couple things. Like I need all the valves, I need springs and retainers. Uh, so yeah, I gotta order that before the motor can get fully assembled, and which would be nice because if the motor is fully assembled, I don't think there's really anything stopping it to go in the car. Um, stuff like that. So we're gonna go down to Dave's, take this miserable freaking highway through Lower Fairfield County in Connecticut, and it's just—it's such a shithole. They're one of the richest counties in the country, and it's a shithole. I don't understand. Oh, we're here at Dave's. Oh, look, nothing's changed a year later. But he did buy some new brakes, this fancy dancy strange thing that I had to tell him to how to use. So we have to go to the hardware store and find nuts for these brackets, because it comes with these dumb caliper brackets. So it comes, I don't know. But this is the new junk he bought junk junk that he's got all this ebay special stuff in but this pretty looks this pretty much looks the same still look it's rusting yes, it is. <laughs> huh. 
Look at that freaking anti roll bar is no joke. I want the seat. Dave's trying to grease bearings the old school way because he's too cheap to have a packer. Fuck that! <laughs> We're putting. Everybody after I. Have fucking real bearings. <laughs> after I showed Dave how to actually put strange brakes on a car, we had to go to the hardware store and find nuts because the strange brakes didn't ship with nuts. Dave has literally zero standard hardware here. Yeah, I know. Literally zero. No. Um. What are you doing with a ton of dash? Oh, that's dash six. Yeah, that's for the great car. It better be. Uh, so we're putting the strange brakes on now because he's going to take the wheel woods that came off this and put it on this because this needed a narrower track width because the wheels hit the dang fenders. So strange what are these s series is that what they're called wce wce hot boy brakes hot boy brakes literally the only thing different is the rotor uh yeah pretty much these all look the same as mine so these are gonna get all nasty and rusty because dave's not gonna ever finish the car i can't wait to buy this thing for a song and a dance in like another two years that's fucked up <laughs> <laughs> so with these you have to shim the caliper so the rotor's centered in the brake caliper if you don't you're gonna have some odd wear maybe brake issues hanging up and stuff like that See, what I use is the where the caliper bolts together on the rotor so you can see that that's problematic I have a fancy new strange those weren't these oh my god no the caliper I had to hold the rotor yeah, these are this is what I like on my car The cap? Yeah. Softly. What about? Oh, that O-ring is going to be trashed. Let me get that oil pan. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. nice. One year, we have new brakes. Check back in 2025 and see how far we get then. My ideas always work sometimes. We had to take the motor out of this thing because a stupid fake modular motor they used didn't fucking fit right. So these have to literally be moved back a quarter inch. So we had to take the motor out because I got to redo all the engine placement. And I'm like, we're getting this car rolling so we can use a lift take the motor. I'm like, just use the cam frame. Done. Gucci. Gucci. Good to go. All right. I'm done here. My work here is done. I came. I put all my knowledge and now I'm leaving. Well, we're back home. We've been working on the green car some. Turbos are in, downpipes are mostly. I gotta tighten these clamps, but I gotta fit the fenders because I don't remember 
orientation and tighten that up. Well, let me get you a flashlight so you can actually see what's going on here. Uh, I'm oh. Sounds like we got a light going bad. Oh, yeah, so I'm on this side. You know, it's just most, you know, since most of the suspension's in, undercoated, looks all fresh. Same over here. Got our fuel lines back in, line lock back in, brake lines hooked up. Uh, this is O2's just chilling. Um, yeah. She's almost rolling again. I have to stick my old strange singles in that I kept because my Afterworks revalved QA1 double adjustables are going out to Afterworks. Uh, these have to, made in USA, these have to go out and get rebuilt. They are uh, leaky leaky. Um, so we're gonna send those out, get those rebuilt, but he's got a three week turnaround. So you figure a couple of days, mail them there, three week turnaround, a couple of days, it's gonna be a month before I get those back. So I gotta keep moving forward. We're gonna stick those old ones in, get the suspension button up. I could always change them out later. Like it's not a big deal to change shocks later. I just won't align this thing and set anything up. Uh, we're supposed to go pick up the motor Saturday, this coming Saturday. Scotty dropped my cylinder heads off to RP yesterday. Uh, he's quote he, to drill them for half inch studs. I had Scotty quote me for valves, so I gotta have him order my valves. I gotta order springs or retainers, and we can get the long block together. Once the long block's together, we dump it in the car. <sighs> well, before we dump it in the car, we gotta measure for push rods. It'll probably be a little bit easier to do that on a stand than in the car. Measure for push rods. Um, stock rockers, I'm just gonna get the uh, trunnion upgrades for them. And, and call that a day but other than that it will be just stock rockers so we could just stock ratio so we just measure for the push rods and uh go from there but i'm really happy how all this turned out it looks so nice you know downpipe looks like doo-doo <laughs> but neither here nor there we're gonna wrap this up uh next video will be going to pick up the Bill LS from the, well, from Scotty. Uh, hopefully he gets my oil pump in because we will be able to put the entire bottom end together. Oil pan and all, head studs, head gaskets on, and just wait to put the heads together and bolt those on. I'm getting excited because it's getting close. Um, I'm hoping by the time the shocks get back here, like the drivetrain's in the car and I don't need the shocks to drive it, but I need the shocks to race it. So we're making progress. We're making fast progress. I'm broke. <laughs> let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Get in the garage. Grab a cold drink. Get to work on your hot rod, guys. Have a great night.